Teeth that are fine, I don't want to extract. You need to extract these teeth. So the surgical guide relies on this kind of abutments also. Hi, and welcome back to Unica Dental Show, where we discuss interesting cases and new procedures in the field of dentistry. With us today is Dr. Yaniv, as always. How are you? Hi, Uwe. Hi. What uh, case did you bring us today? Well, today we want to explain on how we extracted the teeth. The, in here you can see a overdenture on a bar. The teeth below the overdenture are uh, rotten with caries. You need to extract the teeth. And we extracted some of the teeth. We removed parts of the bar. We made surgical guide. The bar was on the teeth? Yes, the bar was uh, on the teeth. We'll, I'll show it in uh, the next slide, I think. Uh, we made a surgical guide. We made the bridge before we placed the implants. Mm -hmm. And everything was done in one day. Really? Yeah. Nice. Let's see. Here you can see the bar. The bar is on the teeth. Why to make the bar on the teeth? Why not to just remove them and then place implants and make a bar? If you make a bar on the teeth, you have more options for uh, maintenance. You, you have a lot of advantages uh, in making a bar on the teeth. Today, it's not very popular. Uh, Wait, you have more advantages if you make it on teeth than on implants? No, the, the teeth were okay. Oh, okay. The teeth were fine. Teeth that are fine, I don't want to extract. Personally, I would like to save them. You can uh, use your teeth, you, ha you feel the, the food, you have better function. Mm -hmm. So in here you can see a bar on the teeth. The teeth are all, uh, it's like a bridge, but from a uh, metal. Mm -hmm. On this bridge, you, you'll have a denture of a denture. It's, it's not a very popular treatment these days because you have a lot of alternatives. Uh, and in here you have a small bridge on two implants. Uh, the overdenture is on those two implants and all on those teeth. It's one of the only ways possible connecting implants and teeth in one restoration because you can't connect implants and teeth. You need to have some non-rigid connection. Mm -hmm. uh, That's with, why you the Yeah, with denture you can have a non-rigid connection. You can connect the implants and the teeth. Why you cannot connect implants and teeth? If you connect implants and teeth on the, with a rigid construction for a long time, it will harm the implant, the, the teeth, and you'll have with time problems with teeth and you need to extract them. It will harm the teeth, not yeah, the Yeah, it will harm the teeth. Because the teeth has a socket? Uh, uh, the teeth had the uh, periodontal ligaments. Mm -hmm. uh, soft tissue that holds Yeah, the, the so soft tissue that holds the, the tooth in the bone. So the teeth has, has micro movements. Uh, the implants are embedded in the bone and they don't have any movement yeah, they're at all. fixed. Yeah, they're fixed. So if you connect something with micro movement and something that's fixed, the, the one with the movement, movement, movement. Uh, yeah. mm. will become weaker. Will become weaker. In here you can see here over, over denture. Uh, you can, it's based uh, on a metal. You have a plastic. It was a removable over Yeah, it was a removable over denture. Uh, on this bar, you have a teeth from a uh, plastic, from acrylic, uh, on metal based. So metal and acrylic. Yeah. And you have the bar. Now, this is how she came with the bar in her, in her hands. This shows us if it did cemented. What uh, did she eat that she came with the bar in her teeth? <laughs> until now, nothing. Well, <laughs> the, this decementation shows that the teeth are hopeless. You can do probably nothing. So, so the, sorry, the bar, this bar was on those teeth. Yeah, they look rotten. They yeah, look the, the the rotten you can't use those teeth. You need to extract them. So the bar, it, it, you maybe temporarily can uh, place mm. the bar on the teeth, but it's not a long term solution. Okay, so there is an option that the bar f fell or got loosened because of the uh, status yeah, of the teeth? Yeah, this is, this is exactly what happened. Because it is got rotten, so yeah. the bar loosened up? Exactly. In here you can see we made a planning of a new bridge, mm -hmm. a new teeth. With these uh, teeth, we know where to place the implants. Mm -hmm. We chose 
uh, some teeth to extract and some and instead of these teeth we can place implants why the screw channel is back of inclined because of the in, the, in the design yeah because of the positioning of the the teeth the positioning of the implants it's a and the placement of the final teeth, it's a problem to place the implants parallel because then you'll have a very big uh, palatal extension. You want to place them a little bit inclined, so you'll have smaller palatal extension. This is why the implants are buckly placed. You can see that the bar is inside and you have a lot of buccal space. Mm -hmm. So the teeth are in here, if you place the implants in here, you'll have the same uh, thickness of the tooth. You want to, for the tooth to look natural and uh, not that thick. So you make some inclination of the implant and this is how you, you design the final restoration. Later on, you can change this implant for angulated one. This is what we wanted to do. But in the first place, designing a bridge for a surgical guide for immediate loading with angulate multi-units, it's very difficult. It's almost impossible. No one's doing it and it, it, it just doesn't work. It's very hard because you, you have so many things to control at the same way that it's just impractical. When you design a bridge for surgical guide for immediate uh, loading, in all of the cases, just use straight multi-units even if you have an option not to use to use angulate ones but with the angulate you'll have such a big headache you just won't fit so just use the normal straight ones yeah. use the straight ones later on you can't place the final zirconia bridge in immediate loading you need to wait a little bit for the healing so it, later on you can change the straight multi-units for angulated you can do whatever you want the surgical guide yeah, in here you can see the surgical guide. Silicon, plastic? No, plastic. Uh, it, it's printed with the metal inserts. We made a model, we printed the model and printed the surgical guide. On the model, you can see the places where the implants will be in the end. The black markers. Yeah, the, bl the, bl the black marked. So these parts in the mouth you need to extract, you need to cut these types, these parts of the bar. Mm -hmm. You need to extract these teeth so you can place implants in, instead of those teeth. But first we need to cut the bar so we physically we'll be able to do it. Yeah, but first of all you need to cut the, the bar because you ca when you place the surgical, surgical guide on top of the bar, mm -hmm. there is a bar. You can yeah, yeah, you cannot <laughs> touch the teeth. Yeah. So this is what we did. We made the planning of the implants on top of that bar, but in the surgical process itself, you need to cut these parts to place the implants. What are the benefits of using the surgical guide and not just doing it the standard way? When you're using surgical guide, you have uh, insurance. You're sure where the implants will be. You plan all the case uh, from the start. You know what to do and where to put. It makes the whole case a little bit simpler because if you just, uh, in this case, the second option will be freehand. And in freehand, you can't this way design where the implants will be. You can't make a bridge from, from the start. So you'll have, uh, you need to scan the implants if you want to have immediate loading. You need to scan the implants on the multi units. The patient needs to wait yeah. this, this amount of time. If you make the bridge before the implantation, the only way is uh, with the surgical guide and with the libraries know where the implants will be and where the multi-units will be. So in this case, we had literally two options or extracting all the teeth and making the bar on the, the gingiva. And the second option was make the surgical guide making. No. Uh, Why not make the bar on the gingiva? Surgical guide. The surgical guide on the general. Uh, in this case, if you extract everything, mm -hmm. you have a lot of uh, movable gingiva because in these places they, they were teeth mm -hmm. and the gingiva is very thick in these cases. So if you have a surgical guide 
relying on those places, the surgical guide will be movable. You don't want that. You want the surgical guide to be rigid as much as you can. And fixed on the... Yeah, region. fixed. So we cemented the bar on top of these teeth, took impressions, cut the bar, extracted some of the teeth, and, le and some of the teeth remained. So we can place the surgical guide on top of those teeth. And they hold place the, the implants, they hold the surgical guide. And then we remove the surgical guide and extract those teeth and uh, those types of the parts of the bar. Sounds easy. Yeah, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> a little bit maybe. Uh, in here you can see the, the bar. bar. We took out this part of the bar. We cut between the teeth. So everything we need to extract, we can extract right, he right here, right now. Uh, in here you can see the teeth without the bar. So next stage we extracted the teeth. This is kind of yeah, you can see scan abutments. The impression w originally was taken with the scan abutments. So the surgical guide relies on the scan abutments also. To hold them. Yeah, the scan abutments also hold them in uh, those areas. And it says the gingiva was really absorbed in this area. Like, it's, it's gone. Bone. Yeah. The bone, yeah, it, it's gone. It's gone because there was, there was nothing to hold the bone. The cortical bone, the alveolar bone in the mouth is going through some absorption if you extract the teeth and you don't place any implants and you don't have any pressure on this bone. The bone is, need to be functional. If it's not functional, mm -hmm. it just resorbs until uh, you have a thin layer of uh, bone, basal bone, and that's all. So in this place, you can't even place implants. You don't have enough place, don't have, have enough bone. You don't have enough space. Space, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is after the extractions. Yeah, after the extractions, you can see the sockets of the implants. You can see uh, the extra extractions were made very, very carefully. So that these teeth that uh, temporarily with the cemented bar on them uh, didn't move at all. Mm -hmm. Now you can place the surgical guide. You can place the implants. Now it's supposed to be a very uh, fast moving procedure in the surgery. So we don't have photographs before and after. Uh, the se next photograph that you see is with the implants and without the, the teeth. You can see the implants that, that were placed. There were uh, some, another implant that was placed here and another distally that we didn't want to load because this span and all the pressure on the last implant will be a problem. We don't want it. In here you can see the model. Yeah, the model with all the parts. You have the implants with the part of the bar. You have these parts of the bar that we cut away, and we have these teeth that we took out after the extraction. It's, the parts that uh, yeah, the same. You, we have some drills, all the parts together. This is the new bridge, right? Yeah, this is the new bridge. This is what we we've made. In here you can see. Uh, all the multi-units. The screw channels. The screw channels. Uh, you have the uh, scan of the patient. The scan, we edited the scan so it would fit on those implants. Next stage, we cement the bridge. You can see that the gingiva is a little bit swollen because of the surgery. You, we need to wait this case. You need to wait because you want the gingiva to heal and to come back to the healthy tissue, the pink, pink, pinkish tissue that around was Around the month? Around the month, yeah, or so. No, no, in this case, because it's uh, immediate loading, mm -hmm. it's much more than a month. You need five, four, four or five months at least to be with a temporary witch. So the, uh, the gingiva will... The gingiva will, will heal, mm -hmm. but the no, other so time you need to, to wait for the osteointegration mm -hmm. of the implants because you have new implants. You don't want to remove the bridge and put the bridge back all, of, all this time. Mm -hmm. So you wait four or five months for the osteointegration. Uh, you have a new bridge. Uh, we close the holes with the uh, plastic pins of the new bridge. Uh, the area where the jaw is, uh, where the gingiva is uh, absorbed, bone is absorbed. the bone is, ab is yeah. absorbed. What uh, what's happening there? 
Right, right now, nothing. Them? Okay. You can have sinus lift be be done. Uh, you can add a little bit bone. The new bridge won't cover it, right? This one's not. The we did made an implant uh, distally to this area, so uh, later on we can have a cantilever of two teeth, oh, yeah. and then uh, this um, implant will be so. All the bridge. So there is a solution. Not always. In here, you have you had place distally mm -hmm. to this area. But if not, maybe you need to do bone augmentation. It's, it's not a problem. No, it in the okay. upper jaw, it's fine. It's okay to do bone augmentation. You can uh, close sinus lift, mm -hmm. open sinus lift. It's not traumatic you, for the patient. It's traumatic, but this is also traumatic. You don't have any anything else to do. So, uh, what is the difference between this case and the classic colon four? Because it it looks like, from what I understand, it the same. It's more or less the same. The, in here, we've made uh, like six implants. All so six. it's not, <laughs> yeah, it's like all on six. There, there is no much difference between all on four and all on six. In many all on four, all on six cases, you want to make a denture before the procedure and not a bridge. And then you hollow the denture mm -hmm. and use multi units and sleeves and fix them in, in the mouth. It's also possible. Uh, you have many different options for making a new temporary restoration for immediate loading. Uh, almost all of the all on four, all on six cases are also immediate loading with four to six implants and going around the, the sinuses uh, with angulation and angulate multi unit, straight multi unit. It's probably the same, the, there is a little bit of semantic. And after that, will come the permanent bridge. This is not a permanent. No, this is temporary bridge, provisional bridge, because uh, the gingiva is not healed. Maybe there will be another temporary bridge because you want to have a bridge with all the implants all together in one, and you want to check uh, how it looks with the gingiva. You need to do some adjustments, uh, and later on you'll have a permanent bridge from zirconia. Final everything. question: It's a PMMA bridge, right? Yeah, this PMMA. Thanks for being here today. You're welcome. And thank you for being here today. Don't forget to like, share, follow, subscribe. Send us your interesting cases so we can review them. Stay safe. See you next time.